Hey guys, I'm Nikki Dinky, and today I am taking spaghetti squash and making it into a pizza crust. And yes, it's quite delicious. So right here, I've got the you know inside of a spaghetti squash from about a two pound squash. If you wanna know how to get to this point where you have these nice cooked strands of spaghetti squash, just watch my video on how to prep and cook spaghetti squash. It's really easy and it'll get you to this point. To do that, the number one thing I gotta do is get as much of the liquid out of here as possible. So I'm gonna put this in a nice clean dish towel and then I'm gonna wrap it up and squeeze as much moisture out of it as possible. It's time to use those muscles. So, just give your towel a squeeze and you can already see all that water forming there. The more moisture that you get out of this, the better your crust is going to be. If you change hands, sometimes they change directions, but you really want to get to a point where you're not seeing that liquid streaming down anymore. All right, let's see what we've got. This looks good, and at this point, you're looking to have about two cups worth of nice dry squash. So now I'm just gonna get that squash into a bowl. All right. And now I've just got a couple things to add to make this into a pizza crust. Number one is some Parmesan cheese. Then I've also got some garlic powder, some salt, and some red pepper flake. And I'm just gonna give that a little bit of a mix before I get my eggs in here. I'm just gonna crack two eggs in here. And let's just mix up this egg with our hands. And you know, you can put whatever seasonings you want in here. Whatever floats your boat, you can really flavor this crust. All right, that looks great. I'm just gonna get my baking sheet set up with some parchment paper. You really don't want this to stick. And let's get it in the oven. I'm just gonna get this crust right into the center. I'm looking to create about a nine, maybe 10 inch circle. I wanna get it pretty thin, about a quarter inch, no thicker than a half an inch. I'm just gonna put it in the oven for about 15 minutes at 450 degrees. Right, let's see how he's doing. That looks good. All right, now, before we put toppings on this, we need to flip it. The trick to this is to get a plate. Take the parchment, it shouldn't be too hot. And then flip your plate and put it over the crust. Then you can use the parchment to help you flip it. Right, put the parchment back on, and then just slide it off. And there you go. Okay, time for our toppings. Over here, I've got some queso, and you can get the full recipe for my toppings at the link below. And all I'm gonna do is spread <laughs> this queso over my crust. I'm gonna put some corn on top. And then I've got a little bit of hot pepper. Just some fresh peppers from the garden. You could even use bell peppers and a sprinkle of red pepper flakes if you wanted. All right, I'm gonna get this back in the oven for about another 10 minutes. All right. Yum. All right, this looks pretty good but I'm about to make it look great. I've got some pesto here in my little squeeze bottle, and I'm just gonna give it a little drizzle. There we go. Okay. Mmm. Mmm, that is really good. And the queso and the hot pepper with the pesto, whoo! That is what you wanna put on this pizza. Like, seriously. I'm not lying, it's really good. I'm gonna keep eating. I'll see you guys next time. It really is good.